So now let's get into this apple cider vinegar rinse, which basically balances out our pH levels. For this rinse, what you need to do is you need to take your water bottle. Oh yeah, everybody keeps asking me where I got this spray bottle. I got this from like I got this from Dollar General like a long time ago and I think it was actually like in the gardening section. <laughs> so yeah, Dollar General, like the yellow sign, you know, yellow bags. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to fill up your water bottle two thirds with water. The rest of it you can use your apple cider vinegar and I'm using organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar and it's Bragg. The brown brag. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. All right, I think that's enough. That's a lot of vinegar. All right, so I have my water and I have my vinegar all in this in this bottle. So I'm just gonna shake it up and mix it up. So apple cider vinegar. And we'll get into pH levels in another video, but P, um, apple cider vinegar has a pH level of like three. <laughs> um, and our hair, thank you. Um, so that's a, that pH level is very, very low. So water has a pH level of seven. So when you mix the vinegar and the water together, it kind of averages out to about four. So the pH level is four. And of course our hair is supposed to be at like 5.5, but because we have curly hair, it can be a little bit higher. And because we use all these different products in our hair, it can change the level and make it higher. So we need to get it back down to the normal range which is like 5.5 so that's the whole point of this rinse so I have my towel ready because it's gonna be messy and we're going to separate our hair into four sections to do this um, rinse I would do it when you're when you just finish washing your hair. So then you're just gonna spray away. So really soak the hair with this mixture and do it on all four sections. I'm gonna keep going, spray my hair, and I will be right back, because this is really, really messy. I just sprayed my all my hair um, with this mixture and my scalp too, because your scalp is just as important as your hair, right? So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bag over my hair and let me tell you, this smells so bad. And I actually like, I like cute, um, like vinegar. I like like cucumbers with vinegar, and I like pickles and all that stuff. But this smell is horrendous. Like, oh my god. <laughs> um. So anyway, so now that. We have the rinse in our hair. What we're going to do is we're going to keep this in for about like 15 to 30 minutes, give or take. So, you guys, it has been well over 15 minutes. Oh, the smell is so horrendous. Um, but I'm going to see if this, um, if I can kind of like detangle a little bit with it out being an issue with my hair. Because I hear that it should make it easier if not we're not going to do it we're going to layer on the products to help 
like our leave-in conditioner. So what I'm feeling is my hair feels squeaky, like squeaky, squeaky. Um, but it is, it's not a problem really to detangle with my fingers. It feels really soft. My hair feels really soft, you guys, like, oh my gosh. And it does have a shine to it. Let's see if we can detangle. Of course, you still need to be careful. Gentle. I definitely wouldn't just detangle. Um, it's not hard, though. It's not hard to detangle. But I just... It just feels too, I don't know, it's too squeaky to detangle, but it is possible. So there it is. Um, so I do, I can see that it is easier to detangle than, you know, if your hair was just wet with water. Um, so I'm pretty sure that this apple cider vinegar helps a little bit but just to be safe definitely um at this point either rinse it out and start your layering process um if you do a variation of the lock method i would say go ahead and start doing that um or whatever regimen you you know do do it um or if you want you can um rinse it out it's up to you. I think that I really am going to rinse it out, you guys, because I cannot stand the smell. And I don't feel like waiting for it to dry to see if the smell, you know, goes away. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm looking crazy in this video. So I'm not going to stay around and talk and ramble too much. Um, so if you, I'm telling you, like, I am so serious if you guys have any questions if i confused you more whatever leave your questions below and i will do a follow-up video to this um and i really hope that you guys try this um apple cider vinegar rinse. awesome for everyone every curly girl should try this um rinse um no matter if you have colored hair um if you do have colored hair just make sure you don't do it that often and make sure you use more water than the vinegar because you want to dilute it because you don't want it to like strip the color from your hair um but yeah i hope i got i, I really hope i helped and i will do more videos like this as i post them on my blog um, and you can always get more detailed information on my blog because it's really written out and really researched and put into a clear and concise order so you can understand. Um, so yeah. Alright curls, I'm going to go. I'm going to finish um, up my wash day. And um, yeah. Alright. <laughs>